Welcome to our new episode refitting our companion way with luxury mahogany. When we bought our small yacht, the stairs looked used and needed a refresh. The veneer we ordered is perfect for building an exclusive companion way. The problem was milling the steps, this accomplished our carpenter. I hope you enjoyed the refit video and leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Here I am at the Woodcraft. So what I need to do is uh, to get my stays back because it was not possible to just uh, use our tools which we had at home and um, do it yourself. So they prepared my stays and cut it off what was necessary. Yeah, morning, it's time for another little bit of sanding. Today just this and the side here. That one it's already sanded, but as you see here, that's still gray, like also here, um, that needs to be sanded now. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's well done. That's everything fine, as you can see here. That's how I want to have it, because of there I apply some clear paint. So that makes it looks, look probably super beautiful. Good, now I paint, uh, I sent the two other ones and then I'm going to epoxy this and this backside so that I can stick it later together like that. And um, I have to see that the gaps here will be filled proper. So I need to use the proper side. So yeah, it's accomplished. What I'm going to do here is um, that one with a dremel, I guess, I will squeeze out a little and there should some circa flex in so that it's not slippery if you just go down um, the stick. And next time it's again epoxy. I use a small, small brush. Good, that's the last piece. So carefully on this. So that's done. I just put it in the other room and I'm fine. So here comes the last part. Everything on the epoxy which is at the site, I will actually send down later again. It will look beautiful. Now the back part and I do this with all three steps of our stairs. Once it's a little cured then I put it in with the 406 and um, <clears throat> stick them together. It is time <clears throat> gluing this part on top of here. So I use the 105 and 25, including the 406. So I will produce some mayonnaise inside again, mayonnaise consistency inside, and apply it on this side first. Um, before I really squeeze, I will just get some tapes on here so I do not send a lot in case of because here it's a very here we need a very very perfect seal so that no water can actually drop in. And um, I will therefore just tape it here on top and also the other side that it's easier to remove. Well, I applied it. So this tape is on here. Now I just lay that one carefully and see which side applies best. Yeah, it's this. Before I'm going to squeeze, I will actually apply another part of tape. And that part of tape should be on top of here. So as close as possible. Because I don't want to mess with the epoxy. I thought I need to apply some of the cramps, but Hmm, seems good. So that means like I should just go there and remove a little bit of this. Cause everything removed. Yeah, I need to squeeze something further in. 
I, I touched it a little bit because of I have dirty fingers. That's fine. So now I turn it aside and we'll use crimp and just stick it as strong as possible onto it. Can you see that that works? So first soft apply, cause I saw this gun a little bit and it just moved. Yeah, that's as it is expected. If you can see that is super tight, it's actually there. Everything is bound perfectly. I move some further epoxy. I put it to the other side, yes. And um, if you have epoxy on your fingers, you make it dirty, but I experienced already how to remove it. Yes, apply the second part. Nicely done. Just ensure that this is perfect. So, as you see, it's probably done. Now I leave it and dry. Yeah, before I'm going to send <coughs> everything again, here is just a step and I put in some kind of compound so that this would actually um, make the stays not so slippery. How I'm going to do this? Uh, first I just mark so and then I'm going to drill. The next so it looks like this it's pretty nice so here um, the compound comes in it's the same from Silka Flex so that this should match there's the other one and one more to go the next part is um, applying the 290 DC Pro which is actually for um, as you can see for our uh, yeah Maragoni deck or teak deck um, I'm opening, I apply first a little bit on the paper, that's fine, it looks I hope that works as expected. There will be a little sanding later. This I'm letting dry and then it will be sanded smoothly so that if you step on with your feet, um, you're not slipping. Good. Well, I'm starting with the first um, coat on Whatever I've done with our wood, I'm taking the International Schooner and um, have cylinder number one. Why I do this? So I mix this a little um, steady because of uh, the first paint should just penetrate the wood a little more better. Now this gives smooth darker paint. This is actually what I expected. In total, I will apply probably three coats. And as it should dry fast, I hope I can apply today the second coat. So this is number one, and it comes up here. As we saw yesterday, I just put in the circumflex. So there is some part which needs to be sanded again. As, and I hope you can see this. I left half a millimeter, so because when you slip on it, it should just stop you a little. So I'm going to send that a little round and probably I paint it. I'm not sure um, if I just need to, but I guess I will just send that afterwards. So we remove the clear paint, um, that because it's soft, the clear paint will not break. That's now, yeah, an ugly work. I have a bundle of sanding paper, this first. That was 40 sandpaper that is a little strong. Um, I think I'm continuing with 100. So as you can see here, it's pretty nicely done. And um, yeah, then I just smooth this as well a little. But with 200, that one I'm going to do later. It's pretty nice. As you can see here, really as I wanted. Now I'm going to apply the clear paint. I do something you should never do, but I don't mind now. Okay, time to dry. Next clear paint should be applied in, in roughly hmm, four hours. These are our stamps. They are also pretty beautiful. And in total, what I have to say, I'm happy. 
Um, I had to move the room because it's outside at the heating room and I was not allowed any hot to dry. Uh, good, I can understand it's a little smelly, so I opened the window and hope it's not too cold because it's time now constructing this thing back. That's a little more tight compared to before, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I need to hit the exact hole. So, this is good. <clears throat> now let me get it from a different angle. So, same with the other one. So, that one fits. Well, I would say that is perfectly done. And I'm pretty happy. Ta-da!